Welcome everybody to my first official YouTube video. Yay! <laughs> it's taken me so long to do this, but here we are. For my first subject, I decided to use Dr. Jordan Peterson. Uh, if many of you aren't aware of him yet, uh, I'm going to make your lives a little bit better because he is one of the most influential uh, Western intellectuals right now. Um, his number one best international selling book, <laughs> uh, 12 Rules for Life, uh, has completely changed my life, which is why I'm making this portrait. Um, so it's honestly an honor and I hope that after watching this video, uh, many of you can look up his lectures because they are definitely life changing. So to begin with, I decided to start with uh, putting down some mid-tones, just plug it in, getting comfortable with the portrait. Um, once I got a little bit comfortable, I decided to go into more of the darker tones. Um, I was flirting a little bit with starting the edge right away, which is kind of a habit for a lot of us, but I decided to hold off until I felt like his face was just plugged in enough. Um, the lighting is going to change here in the moment, uh, it is because I was shooting at night uh, in the first minute, but um, the next day uh, in the morning I, I really didn't want to wait until night time, so I started the ice uh, first thing in the morning. Now with the eyes, I decided to just give him a, give him a little bit of, um, of white and gray. The, the paper that I was working on was not gessoed, so um, I had to lay something down to begin with. Uh, I wasn't worrying too much about the detail right now. I was still figuring out um, the, the shape of his face, so I went back and laid down some more uh, lighter tones. This time, um, I went a little bit lighter than the, the first the first layer, um, and I added some grays to um, to balance out some of the warmth in his uh, skin tone. Once I felt comfortable enough, I was able to go back into the eyes and worked out some minor details. Uh, as many of you can tell, I kind of skipped, skipped the part where I added some of the gray. Um, his hair is not actually this gray, but I decided to give him sort of a foxy look to him. Um, or more or less of a wizard, if anything. <laughs> I mean, he definitely reminds me of someone who would be hanging out with guys like Plato, probably Da Vinci as well. Um, so at this point, I felt comfortable enough with uh, where I was at, and I started to concentrate more on uh, other sections of the painting. Um, uh, my reference that I was using, uh, he did not have a green suit. I don't think I've ever seen him with something too, too bright, uh, but it's just something that I do in most of my paintings. I like to alter a lot of the colors, um, and, I just, and I felt that adding some of the green that was contrasting with the blue and the skin tone just gave him this really earthy feeling. So this specific detail is pretty important because um, a lot of painters back in the Baroque and the Classic uh, painted mostly royalty and gods with uh, laurels of wealth and I decided to give Peterson this because um, it's a 
it's the least that I can do to really show how much I respect him and um, adore his work. And I added some minor highlights to his suits. I didn't want to add too much to this rack from the face, so I kept it very, very minimal. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. This is my first video so please show me some love and I will be back soon.